Hey guys, welcome back. I am very comfortable right now. I am on top of a platform bed that is made by Classic Brands. We're gonna review this platform for you and show you how it works. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, uh, we are here today to show you our new adjustable bed. Uh, we just got it. Um, it is the Adjustable Comfort Adjustable Bed from Classic Brands. Check out the link below on Amazon. Um, it's got all the specs there. We picked this bed because it was cheap. Um, the, you've seen adjustable beds do kind of an evolution over time online. Not too long ago, you could see these retail for around $1,500. This one was way less than that. Uh, so we're really interested to see what kind of quality we're getting. This is a two-man operation. This box is easily over 100 pounds. You're gonna need two people to help move it around, uh, slide it around, be very careful uh, not to injure yourself. Um, so we're gonna open up the box and see what's inside. The features listed, we were pretty impressed with. It has a massage feature, and you can adjust the, the height of the legs underneath the bed. Uh, there's a wireless remote. You can raise your feet, you can raise your head. Um, up to like a zero gravity type uh, type position. So the manufacturers at Classic Brands thought of everything for this one. So we're really excited to open the box and see what we're getting for such a great value. According to what we saw on the internet, um, the setup should be really quick and easy. So we'll open up the box and see if they're right. So we have the actual bed frame, of course. Looks like it's... Uh, pretty solid. Um, it's got some protective plastic wrapping over it. I'm going to go ahead and take off the plastic. We finally got the bed out of the box and this is what it looks like without all the outer wrappings. We're going to flip it open and see how the parts are uh, packaged. So again, this top piece is kind of heavy, so be careful. Um, okay, so it looks like we got all the parts here. This is obviously the bottom side of the bed. Um, this is where you screw in the legs. And again, the legs are adjustable by height, which I thought was super cool because um, I like my bed high. So let's see here. Um, here's some bubble wrap. I'm going to lean this against the wall here. All right. So it looks like the two halves um, will need to be joined, obviously, by a hinge. So we'll look at the setup there. But let's look at the individual boxes in here. This is, everything's clearly labeled. There's the foot motor. And then you've got the legs that screw in. So get this out of the way. And then here we have the head motor. Put that over here. The underside of the bed looks solid and feels solid. I really like the quality, especially for the price we paid. I'm just, I'm so impressed. Everything is so sturdy and durable um, and just very, very well made. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. Everything's metal, uh, very solid. Yep. We've got all the pieces out of the boxes now. Um, kind of skipped over that on the video and uh, all the pieces are pretty late, but pretty clearly labeled. Like this one is the head motor. There's a label here, um, and then of course you've got the foot motor. That's that's uh, that's over here. Um, the leg sizes come, like we said, in three different heights. You've got the four incher, which is here, and then you've got six and a half inches. And if you wanted to, you could also combine the two and uh, make ten and a half inch leg. And then whatever uh, whatever height you choose, you just put this on the bottom as a kind of a skid proof skid proof function, and then you just screw the legs on. Very easy, um, very versatile. I love this feature. I think it's great. Um, based on our mattress height, which is about 14 inches, we are going to go with the six inch leg. So we will do that here. Okay, we've screwed in all the corner legs, uh, which was the easy part. Um, the, it was slightly more challenging to figure out the, how the middle legs worked, um, but basically you've got these two um, you've got these two screw holes that you line up with the holes over here, 
and it fits over it like that. Um, the manufacturer has included their own uh, their own little tool, the Allen wrench, plus these screws. So all you have to do is just uh, screw these in securely. And after that, we are done. Now you do kind of have to press down on the leg a little bit to get, to get the, the pieces to line up so the screw goes in smoothly. And then just make sure you tighten it really well with the Allen wrench so you get a nice secure assembly. So now let's install the motors. Um, both of these motors uh, have their place in these hinges that you see. So all you need to do is take out the pin that keeps this, this pin in place and you line up, take them both out first. Now these motors are rather heavy so be careful not to drop them. So it takes a little bit of manipulation, but it will get through. And then it's very important that you push these pins back in to keep uh, the assembly secure. So before you flip the bed, you actually have to connect the motors, which I which I skipped over in um, in the last segment. So these motors actually come with color coded heads, and the uh, and the motor actually has color-coded stickers to show you where to plug them in. So all you have to do is follow the colors and stick the blue heads where the blue stickers show up. And so you have all these four uh, spaces that are filled uh, by, the, by the plugs. And then after that, all you have to do is connect the power supply uh, to the wall and then you're good to go. Um, the motors for the massaging are here and here. So we were wondering what those, uh, what those lumps were, and that's what they are. It makes your head and your feet vibrate. And um, the motors actually work also too. We were testing the remote just now, and we could, see the, we, could, we could see the motors moving. So again, a very quick setup. Uh, it was actually pretty easy. It took a little bit of manipulation for the parts to all fit together, um, but overall, very intuitive, and um, we were happy with the setup. Not too difficult at all, and it was probably about 20 to 30 minutes setup with, between all the figuring out um, and, all, and all the problem solving. So not, not too bad. Um, we're excited to flip it over and see how it works. Now that we flipped over the platform, uh, we're ready to install the metal support bar that came with the that came with the platform. This is, of course, to keep the mattress from sliding off the bed once you raise the head. Um, there are two metal uh, grooves that have been uh, put into the platform for you, and all you have to do is slide the metal bar in like this. It's really easy, and that's it. Our platform is ready for our mattress, so we're gonna go get our mattress and put it on top of the platform and see how it performs. Actually, before we put the mattress on the platform, we wanted to show you the remote. Um, this, uh, this platform comes with a wireless remote and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat. It's got several presets that are interesting and um, it of course has the massage function. So let's start with the buttons one by one. Um, this is the, these two are actually massage buttons. So you can choose to massage your head only or your feet only. Okay, um, and then here, this button, it actually adjusts the intensity of the massage. So it can vibrate super intense, or you can adjust it off, adjust it down. And then of course, if you wanna turn off the massage, both zones at once, you just hit this button. Um, and that's a, that of course is the off button for the massage, no matter which zone is on. Um, the presets are kind of interesting. There's one for TV PC, where it raises your head slightly higher than your legs, um, if you press on that. Um, I believe it's like 
10 degrees for the feet and then, and then 60 degrees for the head, something like that. And then there's another one for lounge. Oops. And there's another one for lounge that you can hit. Um, and that one just slightly elevates your feet and your head. And then, of course, you have the flat button, which, of course, brings everything back to its original position. And then there's a really interesting setting called Zero G, which brings your feet and your head to a point where your back has the least pressure, which is why they call it Zero G. Um, so that's a pretty cool button, too. And then, of course, you can also do your own custom uh, your own custom position by raising the head or the foot um, independently, independently of each other like that. So super customizable and uh, you can pretty much be in any position you want. Um, it's a pretty light remote too, very well made. Um, very excited to try it out. We wanted to show you what the different preset positions look like. Um, they're actually pretty neat. So I'm going to start with the TV PC setting first. This one elevates your head higher than your feet. So you can either watch TV or work on a laptop in bed. So as you can see, um, all you have to do is press the button and the feet and the head move um, independently into their preset positions. And so we don't have our mattress on here yet, obviously, so it's going to feel a little bit different than this, but um, yeah, this is pretty comfortable. I can totally see myself being able to comfortably watch TV or do something, do something on my laptop. Um, so the next setting, uh, next preset is going to be for lounge. So I'm going to hit that button. And once I hit that button, it's a little more relaxed. It lowers me down. And so my feet and head are slightly lower. Um, very relaxing. I can see myself possibly reading like this or just uh, laying back and unwinding after a long day. And the final setting is going to be for zero G. So I'm going to press that. This I thought was the coolest one. Um, it really feels good. It takes the pressure off of your back by elevating your feet up a little bit, and it keeps your it keeps your head back. So you really feel like you're kind of floating. Um, it feels great. And then of course the final setting is flat. So that brings everything back to its original position. We just wanted to show you guys what those presets look like. Um, we just like it that the remote offers uh, preset positions and also the customizable option. So we like options. It's just something that we thought was really cool. Another great feature of this bed are the USB ports that are on the side of the platform. Um, there are two spots, so you could charge some electronics. Um, now they are only on one side of the bed, so uh, but it is a useful feature and we think it's great. Um, makes it slightly more convenient. Our mattress is on our platform now, so I'm going to hit the TV preset position and see how the platform handles um, our big heavy bed. This is a 14 inch memory foam queen size mattress, so it's very heavy and it's very thick. Um, and this platform is actually handling it pretty well. It feels super natural, very relaxed, and now I'm in the perfect position to watch TV or work on my laptop. I love this platform bed. It's got everything on it for a great price. Uh, massage, preset positions, customizable positions, um, and this remote is a really uh, convenient way to be able to operate it versus maybe like a side, a side, a side uh, dashboard or something. So this is great. Check out our links below and also on the top uh, left hand corner. We've got more specifications down there plus the best pricing. We also have a channel called Inside Sleep Reviews where we review more sleep products, uh, mattresses and more platform beds, anything to help you get a great night's sleep. So we're really excited to share that with you too. Um, if you like our channel, uh, hit subscribe and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.